Today we're going to look at some of the differences between a Caterpillar CT660 and a CT680. Both of these trucks are pretty similar. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference between a, a 680 and a 660. You can get a 680 built with a little bit more horsepower, but you can build both trucks largely the same way. Uh, the 680 is just, you can get it a little bit bigger than what you can a 660. Uh, a 660 is basically made to just be a vocational truck. Not that the 680 can't be, but uh, that that's kind of the idea is that an, a 60 is a vocational and an 80 is more of a multi-purpose kind of road tractor type type truck. So the 660 was made by Norscott probably four or five years ago it's since been discontinued now diecast masters is bringing back the dump truck but i don't know if they're bringing back the the tractor and low boy set I, I hadn't seen it maybe they are i really don't know but they're the the dump trucks labeled as one of their uh, core classics now the uh the ct680 this particular truck was made by tonkin and uh since they made this truck, Tonkin doesn't make it anymore. WSI actually picked it up. So you can get, you can still get this truck, but it, it has to come through WSI if you buy it new. Uh, now this truck is supposed to be a little bit bigger than the 660, but if you put them side by side, the 660 actually, actually sits up a little bit higher than what the 680 does. And you put them nose to nose, the hood's a little bit bigger on the 680, but the the 660 just it looks a little bit bigger, which is kind of funny because it's supposed to be the bigger truck. They're both 150 at scale, but you know, it is what it is. Now, as far as the the basic layout of the truck, they're both pretty similar. It's interesting that they they both have visors, they both have twin stacks, both have two two horns on the top. Although the Norscott ones look a little goofy, they look real tiny. Same mirrors, same uh, you know, hood mounted mirrors, all that, all that stuff. Now the Norscott's a little bit different. For one, the hood opens up, and you have this, I don't know, horrendous little motor in there. It just looks goofy because you have all this giant gap between the motor and the, the firewall. There's just nothing there. It, it just it looks odd. But it does open up and it does have a motor in there. So that's nice at least. The interior details, pretty okay. You can see the, uh, the cat labels on the seats. That's kind of neat. The wheels are nice. The, the full fenders are cool. The stacks look a little look a little small to me. I think they look better on the 680. I think Tonkin did a better job with them. But overall, it's it's not a bad tractor. The fifth wheel is okay. It's got a much shorter frame than what the 680 does. The short frame tractors are nice, but the long frame just looks... I think they look, look cooler, if that even matters. Now the 680 does have the the pre cleaners on the side. I don't think you can get those for the 660. I don't think that's an option. I could be wrong. Uh, the hood doesn't open up. You do have some interior detail. Again, you got the the cat emblems on the seat, which is it's neat. The doors don't open up, which is interesting for a, a Tonkin model. Nor does the hood. So it's really interesting that. Even though this was made by Tonkin, it's not really a Tonkin truck. Uh, the detail underneath is not very good. I mean, it could be worse, but it's definitely not the usual uh, Tonkin standard, which again is interesting. It's almost like they made this truck knowing that they weren't going to keep it. So they didn't really put a whole lot of their uh, their normal features into it. Now the fifth wheel does slide. I swear it does. Uh, it does slide on the tractor air gauge, which is interesting. It's kind of a unique feature that you'd never use, but it's kind of neat that it's there. Now, 
one thing that's kind of interesting is the location of some of the uh, the frame mounted I don't know if you call that equipment or details or whatever like here you have the the air tanks and then you have all the emissions equipment the muffler and whatever else it has for the the tier 4 which is kind of kind of neat on the 660 I guess it's old enough that you don't have that because you just have the air tanks here in the battery box there's nothing there's nothing that shows any of the emissions which may not have even been on this truck it's old enough that it might not have had it oh one more thing this truck also has just a little bit of steering and I don't remember if this does or not yes yeah, this has a little bit too it has that three position it's actually a little bit better on the Tonkin than it is the Norse guy because I mean the Norse guy you can barely you can barely even tell that it steers I mean you might as well not even have steering on the truck but anyway overall they're both nice trucks they both look pretty good uh, <clears throat> I think they're both worth having in the fleet now I've probably heard a dozen different times over the last two years that Caterpillar is not making trucks anymore they discontinued their trucks but if you look at the CAT website, you can still find all the information about the trucks. You still see them on the road. Uh, the place where I work at, they just bought like a dozen of them. Which, supposedly, like I said, you hear it all the time. Oh, well, CAT was giving them away. They were such a good deal. They couldn't say no. So I, I really don't know if they're still making the trucks or not. But it's still, uh, it's nice that you can get you know the models of the the real truck that's always uh, a nice thing to have especially if you're buying the trucks it's nice to get the the model of it <laughs> anyway that's about all i have if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask as always thanks for watching maryland construction diecast